You know, if I had to barrack for a, you know, people, if someone were asking me to question, hey, what's your favorite, you know, kind of bigger Grand Marc Champagne house right now? You know, who's kind of getting after it and making, you know, just the right proper wines? I, Piper might be my first choice. Uh, Piper Heitzig in the last decade has been absolutely killing it. Um, and it's great to see because Piper, you know, back in the 80s and, and even the early 90s when I started to get into the business wasn't, didn't have that much of run to it. You know, Piper was that other brand, you know, the, this is back when, you know, Veuve Clicquot was starting to get theirs and, and Moa was doing its thing with White Star, et cetera, et cetera. And Piper was always just kind of left behind. And, <clears throat> you know, thanks to that Remy Cointreau purchase, and they installed their top chef, the Cobb at the time, to come in and kind of clean up Piper. And we started seeing better and better wines coming from Piper through uh, the late 90s into the early 2000s. Um, uh, the 2002 Rare was amazing. Or was it, yeah, eight Rare, amazing. So <clears throat> what happened is in 2020, um, uh, uh, let's see, Emilien, excuse my French, Boutia, uh, became chef de cave at Piper in 2020. At the time, he's 32 years old and one of the youngest chef de coves out there. Uh, and he brought like a, a sparkle and a fire to Piper too. So everything that the Remy Cointreau team had done, he kind of like doubled down on and created even more scintillating wines. So when they were doing these final blends and working through everything with some of these great, great vintages they have in the cellars, we just encounter this with Piper. And that's why we were completely stoked to find this amazing deal on the 2014 Piper Heitzig Brut Vintage in Europe, and we're bringing it to you today. This is a delicious, phenomenal champagne. Here's the deal with Piper. Piper makes joyful champagnes. The ultimate high-class aperitif-style champagne. These wines are, well, for example, this one's seven grams per liter dosage. So in this zero dosage world, in this angry champagne, P-A-I-N world, that we're seeing right now with a lot of these smaller artists and producers, Piper gets back to yum. And, and yum is so important with champagne. I don't wanna like struggle through a glass and a half of champagne and it's kind of sour, it's kind of mm. And I wanna drink champagne, I wanna drink a lot of it. My stomach hurts in the morning, you know what I'm saying? Like I wanna drink a lot of champagne. And the Piper champagnes are champagnes you can drink a lot of. Uh, the 2014 vintage is, memory serves 55.45, Chard Pinot or the other way around. I'm, uh, I'm brain farting here. It's 55.45. Um, you know, nothing really different than special and out of control with the Piper wines. These are classic. Stainless steel fermented for Van Clare. Um, classic aging in the cellars uh, for these cuvées a long time uh, on tirage. And so what you get is you just get real frigging champagne. And in a world where uh, it's going away from real champagne, well, what they think is the new real champagne, but I don't know, this is real champagne to me. This is beyond refreshing and just beautiful to have, especially at this price. Um, accolades, uh, 98 points, Decanter World Wine Awards. Now we've talked about this in the past. These are these blind tastings of thousands and thousands of wines by people that actually know wine, MWs, MSs, experts in their field. Um, and when you go through that gauntlet, and you become the top champagne during, in a single year in the Decanter World Wine Awards, that is a monster, monster accolade. You've run the gauntlet, several rounds of tastings to get to that point. So it's not just one dude that is a champagne pro going like, yeah, 98 points, you win. No, they go through tasting, then the next panel, next panel, et cetera, to come up with the fact that you won, kid. You're the best, all right? That's a big deal. It's a big deal to us because we know that people on these tasting panels and they're no joke. These are real, real tasters. Uh, so it's an absolute treat to have this wine here at this price, usually $90 retail. Uh, we're rolling out to you at $59.98. So for one of the great champagne deals, Monster Press, everything you could have going for it. And you know what? It tastes freaking great. Man, it doesn't get any better than this. 2014 Piper, come and get it. Only 240 bottles.